toilet stories. Had some horrendous ones. Huh? Simeon uh, had a little accident. He's had a few accidents this trip, but his latest one was throwing his uh, waste bag completely full out the hatch and landing on the lured spinnaker sheet and hanging either side. Quite disgusting, really. He thought it was quite funny, but I have to touch those sheets, so I'm not amused. No, I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? What do you got? You got three options. Option number one, you use the carbon toilet downstairs, the three and a half, three and a half thousand grand carbon toilet. You can use it with or without a bag. If you use it without a bag, you gotta count on being able to flush it properly with the right amount of water. If you don't do that, you'll have what is called a blow up. I don't think I need to explain what that is. The water from the sink goes, joins to the water from the head, it goes out the boat. Someone flicked the valve the wrong way, pumped it, and sent one up through the sink at pressure. And it pressurized because it couldn't get through the hole in the sink and, and just exploded over the roof. Bad, 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 bad. If you use a bag, you get what you need to do into the bag and you throw the bag over the side and within two days the bag will have dissolved. It's like an organic bag. Option two is the back of the boat. That's where you uh, just, you know, get the stuff done. Sit next to your friends. You can even have a little conversation while you do it. And happy days, outdoor, clean, easy. No, no messy jobs. Option number three. A piss pot you can use down below. If you're a man, generally. Although some ladies can probably manage it. What's your preferred method of the toilet or off the back? Off the back, all the time. Toilet. Yeah, always. <laughs> oh. Off the back every day of the week. It's quite unpleasant really, the fact that the toilet is probably a metre and a half away from where you store your food and snacks, which is another metre and a half away where you want your off watch to be sleeping. It's all quite public really. How it was in Roman times apparently. You like to think we've moved on since then. Yeah, Simeon, Simeon, you know, he came up the other night and said that he had a really bad experience on the head and that um, he's not prepared, he's not able or ready to talk about it just yet. So um, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to getting to Hong Kong to actually find out about it because we've also been living in the same space. The, the big one, the, yeah, the, the, there's been an accusation that Simeon had an accident in the head. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Resulting in a little bit of poo being on the floor, using Nikolai's electric bilge pump to suck it up, thinking he'd done the perfect crime and no one would know. That's not cool. It's just not cool. But then Nikolai needing to use the bilge pump, having to clean the filter and finding poo in the filter. I'm not a detective, but I have a pretty good idea what happened. And I'm only missing 5% I think before I have the full story just by going through the evidence on the boat. There was an incident that I, I, I erased it out of my memory. It's better for everyone on this boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just only come to light in the last day or so that Simeon had this accident in the toilet. <laughs> so either he come clean himself or we got to put him in, in kangaroo court and then the evidence will speak for him. <laughs> I start, you start. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. We sail first. And we love to poop. <laughs> so yeah, no, so toilet stories are pretty, they're always funny, but you know, not at the time, not if it's happening to you, but they're funny afterwards, funny at the bar, when you're having a chat with your mates about it.